we do not want cost to be a barrier. So please walk in the health department, know your numbers. This is extremely important. And it's important for both men and women because men play so many different roles. They are sons, they are fathers, they are granddads, they are brothers, they are good friends. So we want them to take care of themselves. That is a part of our podcast, part of the podcast that Gabe Canales, our next guest here, is to make folks out there aware about men's health, yeah. for one, Absolutely. but we're focusing in this segment about prostate health. Yeah. Um, you were a cancer survivor. Tell us yeah. about that. Real Thanks quick. for having me. Good to have you. September is National Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and the message this month is to get checked. You know, if you're a man watching this program today, I encourage you, get that annual checkup, ask about a PSA test, and uh, have that discussion with your physician. If you have a family member, a male family member, member, encourage your dad, your husband, your brother to go get checked. Men aren't getting checked. Half of men in America are not getting their annual checkups, nor are they getting their cancer screenings. And prostate cancer, let's talk about prostate cancer for a second and what a prostate is. Prostate is that small walnut-shaped gland that only men have. It's below the bladder and it's in front of the rectum. The primary function of the prostate is to produce the fluid that nourishes and transports the sperm. Now prostate cancer is when you have malignant cells, cells that grow out of control in that prostate gland. How do you know if you have prostate cancer? Well, for me, it was through an accidental test. I was having my testosterone checked, but I had what's also called a PSA test, prostate specific antigen. That's a substance, it's a protein made mostly by the prostate that may be found at an increased level in the blood of men with prostate cancer. However, an increased PSA level could also be infection, it could be inflammation, it could be an enlarged prostate. That's why it's important to get checked and to have that discussion with your physician. Sure. What is the average age that a man gets prostate cancer and could get prostate cancer? Yeah, so cancer? the average age is 66, but I was diagnosed at 35. Wow. Younger men are getting prostate cancer. So know your numbers, that's important. Know your numbers. My doctor told me a long time ago, good prostate health is also good heart health. If you have a healthy heart, you're gonna have a healthy prostate usually. And you just said know your numbers. So what does that mean? When you get an annual checkup, you wanna know what your blood sugar is, what your blood cholesterol is, what your blood pressure is, your BMI or your body fat percent, mm -hmm. and that fifth number is your PSA. If those numbers know that good lifestyle habits can lead to good numbers, poor lifestyle habits can lead to you know, disease and bad sure. numbers, it's all connected. And these numbers are usually indicative if you have that good heart health, if you are if you have good prostate health, if you're also at a higher risk of cognitive issues too. It's all tied together. We were talking about the different tests that are part of getting your prostate checked. Yeah. Many of them, of course, having to deal with issues that require some more intrusive uh, tests. Yeah. That brings in the question of machismo and keeping men from being healthy. That is a big issue in our culture. Yeah. It is. How do you go about that? How do you, how do you convince a man that yeah. this is necessary? No one likes to feel like they've got a finger being wagged in their face. Oftentimes I have found that a way of connecting with other men and encouraging is to share my story, but also we can all relate. We all have that family member that either has had a stroke or diabetes or heart disease or some type of a you know, prostate issue. Um, it's important when we catch things early, that is when they are most treatable. When they're caught a little bit later, it can lead to a cascade of events, you know, because everything is so connected. And that's what I'm trying to get people to understand is there are not a set of lifestyle habits that will decrease your risk of this, but a different set of lifestyle habits that will decrease your risk for th this other issue over here. They're all the same. So if you engage in lifestyle habits, and if you get that annual checkup, and this is what, to answer your question, we have to emphasize to men that the earlier you catch something, the more on top of your health you are, the more optimal your health will be. You're gonna be more productive at work. You're gonna be a better partner. You're gonna be a better friend. And uh, you're gonna have better mental health too. Sure. And whether they are insured or not insured, there are resources out there and you would like to yeah. share those with us as well. So the opening video was with Dr. Faja Khan, who is the Corpus Christi Nueces County uh, Director of, in the Health District here. She, they have free health screenings at the county here. They don't have a PSA test, but go get those other health screenings. And if you do not have insurance, 
go to a federally qualified health center. For instance, in Corpus Christi, you can go to Amistad Health. I re recently on the Blue Cure Men's Health podcast, I interviewed Dr. Garcia Blow from Amistad. Awesome lady. Yes. Awesome Wonderful doctor. lady. Love her. Yes. And here's what she, you know, she wanted to emphasize that we don't turn away anyone. You know, labs, which are usually pretty pricey, you can get there for, a, you know, based on your income, you may not have to pay anything, you might have to pay a very low amount, but you can get a PSA test. You can get that checkup. You can get the other screenings that you need. So I encourage your viewers to get go to an FQHC, and we will also on the Blue Cure Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash beat prostate cancer, we also will have those resources listed there. Very good. Gabe, once again, uh, your your podcast is located. Give us the, the address. So bluecure.org, or they can go to our my Instagram, at Gabe Canales, my Twitter, or X, at Gabe Canales. I post it all on there. Our Facebook is facebook.com forward slash beat prostate cancer and I encourage all of you watching take control of your health be proactive absolutely thank, thank you, thank you so much we appreciate it thank appreciate you it. all right we'll be right back with more of the bingo live after this stick around